Today we're exploring Baby AGI. I've been excited about this one for a while. This is from Yohei Nakajima. What I'd like to do today is just speed run it. We have the instructions from GitHub, just search Baby AGI. How to use. Step one, make a directory for it. Clone the repository, looks good. We will copy the env example, make it just dot env. Let's see what we got. Only a handful of variables here. By default, it is running GPT 3.5 Turbo, which I think was a recent change from GPT 4 in order to reduce expense. And I have seen good results with 3.5 Turbo, and man, it puts the turbo in turbo. Original temperature is zero, we'll keep that in mind. Super secret API key goes here. I'm hoping that it'll do the local Chroma database out of the box. And maybe we'll do something a little more modest than solve world hunger. Considering AutoGPT had a hard time with find me bicycles. I do have high hopes for baby AGI. It seems like it has a more complete architecture. To keep it simple and to do apples to apples, I'm going to rerun the example that I had from the previous engagement with AutoGPT. Create a table comparing the specifications of the top three electric bicycles for an all-weather, five-mile commute, costing less than $800. Here we're just defining a single initial task instead of five sub-goals. So I'm going to say, figure out what specs good candidate e-bikes should have. And that's all I'm going to do before I let it go. Let's make sure we install the requirements. All right. Looks like the only thing to do is to run it. It's so exciting hitting enter on something like this. Just not knowing what's going to happen. Wow. That just jumped. It generated the entirety of the text before it displayed it. What I'm seeing is pretty spot on. It's nailing the 250 watt motor, 20 miles of range. It's even going after subjective quality of life things like frame material making it lighter. Already we're seeing some results. Look at the old and cheer. Oh, and our friend the Swagtron. Oh, thank goodness. I wouldn't be able to evaluate an autonomous agent if it didn't try and sell me a Swagtron. That's going to be my first product sponsorship. Swagtron's going to have to send me an EB5. I'll see if it can power our local language model. I am already feeling warm fuzzies about the information that's coming across. I don't know if there is a setting for pausing it or breaking out of it on demand. Interesting. It already came up with a task result of comparing the three candidates and their max speed and range. And now it's generating another table comparing its foldability and weight. This is really impressive so far. And again, I think this is running on GPT 3.5 Turbo. Look at this table already. Maximum speed, range, weight, foldable. Already it's blown auto GPT out of the water on results for this task. It's getting thorough now. It's going after weight capacity. It seems to be doing well combining the data together into tables continuously. But it's going to blow me away if it puts it all together in one at the end. It's interesting because it seems to be pulling a lot of the same information. But it seems to be handling it so much better. Maybe everything's behind the scenes, but it is just not throwing errors. It's talking about very similar things, but when you look at it, it keeps looking at different metrics in these tables and asking from different angles. And thus far, we're only on task five. Man, I'm getting a bit concerned about this task list right here. Researching a pair of the top three electric bicycles for an all-weather five-mile commute. Same thing for the next task, comma, costing less than $800 based on power and speed, based on their battery life and range. I wonder if this is going to work out in the end. They're doing slightly different things. So if it's not recycling and searching from the web every single time like we saw before, if it's drawing on the Chroma DB, then we might still be okay. It's not setting any land speed records, as usual. It seems to be talking about a lot of the same specifications and the same candidates, so it's a bit concerning. But there's new variations to it, like durability and maintenance, that makes you think it is making slow progress. While this is running, I've been reading reviews about autonomous agents, and a lot of people have the same concerns. Has anyone seen an actual good use case for this? Has anyone seen one of these agents complete and give you what it wants? I really have my fingers crossed on baby AGI on this run. 
This is very promising. We already have a well-formatted table, and the tasks in the remaining queue are related to adding new columns to it from the data store. I'm actually getting kind of excited. The table that it's working with keeps bouncing around. It keeps me on the edge of my seat. It's not just growing with one more column after the other as it goes through the steps. When it refers to them by the rows, it has bike one, bike two. Down here, it's referring to them as bike A and B. Previously, it had their names. I think it's keeping them straight, but it, but it keeps you guessing. I'm worried now. Next task here is to compare the weight of the top three electric bicycles and add the information to the table. Two tasks later, we have the same exact next task, but it loses the price. Ah, oh, come on, man. You're so close and yet so far away. Before I shut this down, let's make sure that it's actually failing. Going up the list, over the past actions, it wanted to add the price, the maximum distance, price, weight, maximum distance, and it's working on weight again. Obviously, this is in a death loop of its own. It's doing so many promising things, but it's just not finishing out. It's regenerating partial tables the entire time. So let me regroup. Control C out of that. Hold on. I have an idea. Hmm. How do you mount a Chroma Parquet file to query it? Well, now you've done and made me do it. I had to open up the code. The majority of Baby AGI is pretty straightforward. The main part of it is under 500 lines, and it's comprised of functions like the task creation agent that returns a list of tasks, which inside is using the open AI call function. It's really exciting how much of a Lego block system this is. All this digging started because I wanted to know more about the Chroma database, and it turns out they just recently replaced Pinecone with Chroma as the default. So what I'd love to do is open up these Parquet files that are persistent storage for the Chroma database. You have Chroma collections and Chroma embeddings. This is the data that it collected throughout the run. I would love to be able to query this and see if it's actually a work product that's useful. So I went down the rabbit hole of Chroma DB and wasn't immediately able to find out how to mount those files. And that's how I find myself in babyagi.py, the actual Python code. What I'm going to do is insert a option that when you fire up babyagi to just query the database. One thing I'm seeing is this is designed to be an infinite loop. At the same time, if it completes all of its tasks, it's supposed to sleep for five seconds and recheck the task list. It looked like there were future development plans to be able to inject commands into the task list in real time. Okay, so I modified things so that it will ask for user input so that when we fire it up, if we enter run, it'll start the normal baby AGI infinite loop. If we say query, that'll allow us to query the database. Any other input will exit out. It's a good day to remember Python. All right, let's see it do some query stuff. Query, enter the query. Bike, all right. <laughs> okay, man. I thought it was so cool that I just turned it into a surfer dude. So what we're seeing is the information that was stored to Chroma DB from the original run. Let's look at watts, compare the motor. Let's try speed and weight. This is exactly what I was trying to test. If I rerun baby AGI, it should have this information still stored. So it has some sort of memory. And this is the beauty of the structure. This is the only code that I added in order to use what's here to query the Chroma database. So the result here is that we can query something and it will give back the top 10 related items in the database. Compare the weight of the top three electric bikes and add the information to the table. Motor power, add it to the table. What I've done is make a quick modification so that it will actually prompt you if you want to go into query mode. And when you do that, you can type in a query like add to table, and it will give you the top 10 results from the database that are related to that query. This is quite interesting. So theoretically, if you keep running 
the script in the same place, it will gain knowledge over time that it can use as context. There probably isn't much intelligence baked into it to prioritize what's getting queried, but that's just a matter of implementation. The core capability is there, unlike AutoGPT, which left you with some bare bones text files. Perhaps I'm shortchanging it though, because I think you can bolt on Pinecone. Now that we know that it is storing some information in the database between runs, for test number two, what I'm going to do is run a pared down list of requirements. The main difference here is that I'm specifying what columns I want in the table and I will use my new input box to start the agent. Now that I know that its default mode of operation is an infinite loop, what I'm hoping for is it to settle on an output table. And then it will probably go into a 5 second periodic hold with an empty task list. So here's what I was looking for. I think these got pulled from the database. Look at that. Generating the table. So interestingly, similar to the first run, it has the end result, but it still has quite a few tasks in the task list. Interestingly, it went back to referring to the bikes as A, B, and C. What's this new entrant? Electric Bicycle D. All right, this is kind of falling apart. It started adding frame material again. It has a partially formed task on the task list. So I think it's actually being hurt more than helped by the old information being stored in the Chroma database. I will cancel this and clear the persistent files and give it another run. Same prompt as before. It looks like we're starting fresh with the task list. And of course, the same candidates are showing up, although the third one is different, really lending credence to this being a fresh internet search. And it looks like it got the critical stats right off the bat. It has a table that looks like it answers the mail, but it's still chugging along. We're down to two tasks, but where did our table go? Curses. It has gone back to making up columns that it's looking for. Unfortunately, this baby is stuck in a death loop. All the way up here, on the fourth task, it actually had an answer. The table was well formed. All the candidates met the criteria, but it just kept going. And the, the task list never got shorter. It changed, so it wasn't a repetitive death loop. Maybe it needs a new term, death by permutation, where it starts decaying and going down rabbit holes of its own devising the longer it goes. One of the problems is that baby AGI is supposed to run forever. It's supposed to reach a steady state of zero tasks. What are the takeaways from this first real test of baby AGI? Did it understand the assignment? Yes-ish, but it got into death loops, or more accurately, task decay loops, where the longer it ran, the more its tasks repeated themselves or went in the wrong direction. Shout out to ChromaDB. I was able to get it to query data that had been generated from the running. While this doesn't seem to help subsequent runs in my experience, it was really cool to see insight, and potentially this could lead to subsequent runs having some sort of persistent memory. But don't hold me to that, it hasn't happened yet. The bottom line is, Baby AGI has a lot of promise. Number one, it is much lower cost than AutoGPT's run. Definitely helped by only hitting GPT 3.5 Turbo and text embedding ADA 002 to the tune of 513 calls across all the runs I did and a grand total of 27 cents. So it is lower cost, but don't think that that GPT 3.5 usage makes it less intelligent. It was very capable on the task that I had. If it hadn't had task decay, I think it would have come to a very decisive result. The last thing that gives me a lot of hope for the future of Baby GPT is that the project is well structured and easily modified, as is evidenced by the minor changes I was able to do in order to add new functionality of querying the Chroma DB store, which I did share to GitHub context found slash baby AGI. Link in description. It's a very similar bottom line. Get in there and experiment with Baby AGI. It's a really cool framework, and I expect it'll have rapid innovation. And maybe some of that innovation can come from you.